What's going on guys, TKD123 back a video, and today we're going to talk about the brand new beta we got yesterday, Destiny 2. I've been seeing a lot of tweets, a lot of live streams, all that good stuff, you know, talking about the game and everything, and I thought I would give my overall kind of first impressions, uh, you know, with a few hours in and stuff like that, and really, you know, kind of just give my overall thoughts, at least how I feel right now initially on Destiny 2, okay? Now, uh, you know, I said on Twitter, you know, that I was going to live stream, right, and uh, I attempted to, but, uh, you know, my Mac seemed to uh, disagree with that notion and you know didn't want to do it you know whatever you know for whatever reason it was uh so you know i'm gonna you know kind of figure out uh how i'm gonna fix this you know like alleviate the issue i know i promised uh the uh you know the life is strange live streams as well and those are still those are still in the pipeline i'm still planning you know i'm still planning to do those i want to do those guys i want to do these things you know what i'm saying but uh you know just just some issues that we will we will get over but let's jump right into the topic at hand, Destiny 2. Now, when you first load up the beta, uh, you were going to be, you know, initially just prompted uh, to play the first homecoming mission, right? Like, the very first mission in the story. And uh, it is it is a lot better than what at least they showed, you know what I'm saying? Like, like there are a lot of, you know, extra things uh, to the mission. There's a lot of cool moments in there. And that end cutscene when you meet, you know, the main bad guy of Destiny 2 and everything. It's, it is overall, it's a really, really good mission. It really grabs you. Uh, big fan of it and everything and uh you know i cannot wait uh to play the rest of the story because you know hopefully here you know what what you know they have said uh is that they are doubling down the story they are gonna take it you know serious this time and of course there are reasons why uh the first destiny didn't have you know the best story or the best fleshed out uh you know narrative overall but you know what i'm saying they said that you know destiny 2 will not be a repeat of that right and uh we're gonna talk a little bit more about repeats here going into it i'm sure you guys uh can kind of guess what i'm gonna say about destiny 2 you know what i'm saying but then overall the first mission really really good enjoyed it a lot um you know it, i feel like there almost should have been a little bit more tutorial thing just because you know there are a few new things like for example uh when you press down on the d-pad you have a whole another ability that you can have you know other than uh your main ability that you know, you have to build up over time whatever and stuff like that so like there's a brand new like kind of side ability that i was not aware of and like you know, even you know when i was doing the um you know main power up to the titan and everything um there was honestly like a little bit of confusion right on like how exactly uh it works right you know like you know like with the shield uh when you are a titan and stuff like that uh you know there was a lot of new things that i wasn't aware of like a block thing that you can do and i wanted to know how to throw the damn shield right and you'll see in some gameplay that i'll post later on uh, throughout the week whatever maybe like next week um you know there are plenty of times where i just absolutely fail with uh the the uh, main power of the titan just because um i wasn't aware of the controls stuff like that and so there was a lot of confusion there for me you know so it would have loved to you know, maybe give like a little bit of prompts you know a little bit here and there nothing insane but you know a little bit more prompts but they legit throw you in uh and there's n you know no really any you know side prompts or text uh that really you know teaches you some things that are pretty new about the game and you kind of got low you know just know and learn about it uh, on your own throughout the gameplay so overall really really good uh you know first mission enjoying the direction that they're going with in the story terms now let's talk about some other things with destiny 2 i will say you know the game overall it looks better it looks really pretty it looks awesome the cars are great and everything like it has great you know graphics great fidelity all that good stuff right so you know definitely does look good um will i say that it's leaps and bounds better than destiny 1 no i'm not gonna say that here um you know it looks it looks better but it's not by an insane degree it's not by an insane mile it's not like you know um it's just it just it's it just not that you know much of a you know graphical jump i'd say you know what i'm saying and uh, of course you know you can blame you know the same hardware you can blame all those sort of things where like destiny 1 had to work i believe no it didn't release on ps3 i don't think it did in 360 i don't think it did okay so let's let's say for argument's sake that like it didn't right you know just overall uh you know destiny 1 you know it looks it looks very very comparable to the you know destiny 2 in a lot of ways right but just even you know, destiny 2 was like a little bit more polished and that's kind of a theme i want to hone in on here is that destiny 2 is very much in like a lot of ways uh a polished version of destiny one and that is neither a bad thing or really a good thing um but you know it is what it is 
And so one of the big talking points when it comes to Destiny 2 um, is some of the weapons, right? So now we have SMGs, and the and the and the SMGs they surprisingly feel a lot different than using like a you know using like an auto rifle or like a pulse rifle. You know what I'm saying? Like they 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 definitely do serve their purpose. They have a reason for you to use them. Um, you know there are a lot of SMGs honestly that like I use online stuff like that that really were not working for me personally. You know what I'm saying? And uh, of course you know with you know, a game like Destiny, headshots are very, very important, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, and so you're gonna definitely want to aim for the head, regardless of whatever weapon you're using, and stuff like that, but, you know, I just found that, like, the SMGs, of course, they're meant to be, you know, weaker than, you know, rifles, obviously, though, like, that's, like, a no-brainer here, but, like, there was a point where, like, it was so weak that, it, you know, that, that, like, I felt uncompelled to play with them, right, you know, I would, I would play it time to time, you know, I'll, I'll use them here and there, but, you know, they, they weren't as useful as I would like them to be so maybe they are gonna tweak i hope you know some of the damage on the smgs and make them a little bit more comparable make them a little bit more better uh you know to kind of just give you a little bit more of a boost uh when it comes to terms of using the actual smg so that way you know it's more of a vital option uh you know if you would like to use smg uh you know it'll 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 serve you better i would say you know what i'm saying just because like right now at least in the beta format um they weren't really doing a lot for me personally so that was just my thing you know and of course there's other you know factors into that but but you know that's just how I felt mainly with SMGs. But overall, I do like how they are included in there. I like how it's a new weapon. I'm in, I'm enjoying that SMGs are in Destiny. It's a nice change of pace and everything. But uh, you know, it's just speaking more a little bit more about the weapons here, right? So you know, the the majority of the weapons, right? Mainly talking about the SMGs, the Isla rifles, and some of the pulse rifles. Um, they have like this red dot reticle that you know, of course, um, it was in Destiny One and everything. But here in Destiny Two, I don't know if it is the map that we're playing on with control i don't know if it is the actual um you know just quality of the red dot it's not even the red dot so just like a you know sight whatever um but the the sights i feel are not that good at all really you know what i'm saying like like there are a lot of times where you lose your reticle that you're supposed to be aiming with um because it's either so so small or it's white so it's like you can barely see it and stuff like that and uh, i feel like you lose your target a lot of times here in destiny 2 and i feel like that's gonna be a major issue uh you know if they don't kind of alleviate so obviously that can be alleviated with more sites that i'm sure will be um unlocks in the full game and everything so i'm not that concerned about it but just you know with those stock sites they are kind of wonky for me i'm not really feeling them i'm looking for more of a nice bold kind of reticle so i can you know just aim properly and like it you know it'd be a better experience overall as opposed to kind of um you know just having that little white dot and uh you know just having it be an issue overall so hopefully we'll be able to get more uh sites in the full game and kind of, you know, the the biggest thing about Destiny 2, at least, you know, my kind of takeaway thoughts, is that it is, it is a lot more Destiny, right? It is a lot more Destiny 1. It feels a lot like Destiny 1. There's a lot of, like, these similar things, even when it comes to terms of the menu, when it comes to loading in a multiplayer match, when it comes to the text overall, the way things are laid out, uh, the overall feel. Like, obviously, you know, it feel like Destiny, but, like, there are... It is, it is, it, it is to an extent where a lot of people are saying that, oh, like, you know, like, this is Destiny 1.5, or this is Destiny 1, um, how it should have been, da, 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 da. and, like, to a degree, you know, I, I made a video about it, you know, a few weeks ago, you know, kind of saying that, you know, like, Destiny 2 is looking a lot like Destiny 1, and not in, you know, the good way, like, in a way that, you know, it is, it is almost not enough change for a sequel it's almost not enough of a kind of breath of fresh air in a way and yeah like there were elements in destiny 2 where i definitely feel like okay like you know like you know like this is cool it's a breath of fresh air you know everything's you know looking dandy or whatever but um there was also a lot of things in destiny 2 that remind me a lot of destiny 1 and it's a little bit you know a little bit kind of a, uh you know i was kind of wanting something like that was gonna totally blow me away and totally gonna be awesome and of course you know again this is a beta you know what i'm saying so i'm not over here sitting here saying oh yeah like you know like destiny 2 is um 100 going to be a carbon copy of destiny 1 i'm not over here saying that but you know just from what 
it's shown just from what we've played and just from what uh, you know a lot of people are saying I feel like a lot of people feel the same way as me now you know I bought the digital deluxe edition so I bought the season pass so I'm getting the next two expansions um, and I guess the more stuff whatever just because I want to cover it here in the channel I want to make sure that um, you know I have all the DLC required uh, to give you guys you know proper you know previews and everything give you guys proper impressions um, of how I feel about you know Destiny 2 uh, going forward in their you know like in their new content releases and everything like that but you know honestly man like I'm kind of I'm kind of uh like I'm kind of like oh man like if this is you know I I really hope that you know the the full Destiny 2 game um you know turns out to not just be a a polished a better a revamped Destiny 1 but you know also a new experience as well I really hope that you know that is important uh to the Destiny 2 you know team over at Bungie and I hope that you know they do deliver that because Destiny 2, you know, right now, you know, just as the beta that has me feeling a little bit, you know, like uh, this is going to be just a Destiny 1 how it should have been. And just some quick things also that I forgot to mention here, uh, you know, I thought we were going to get access to the um, European Dead Zone um, social space, and I'm not seeing it on the menus. I don't know if they're waiting until the beta becomes open for everyone on Friday. I'm not sure if that's what's happening here, but um, I'm not seeing any social space. Maybe they update the game, maybe it's alive right now who knows what's happening but um, I haven't played since last night and I just woke up this morning and you know just wanted to just record my thoughts and everything but um you know I'm not seeing social space and I kind of wanted to see it kind of wanted to uh, give my thoughts on it but um I cannot speak on the European dead zone because we have not been there and you know they said that they wanted to test how many people they can fit on there uh, and be you know okay and everything like they they like wanted to test that thing so I'm sure we'll be able to test that um, and maybe they're I guess waiting till the beta comes open so more people over all had the chance to you know test uh, the actual European dead zone and everything maybe maybe that's happening maybe it's not oh no who knows I thought they did mention that you know the um, space was gonna be available for the beta I'm pretty sure it will be but it just wasn't live there and then one final note is that you know you may not see um, any of the new game mode that is basically SD um, countdown is what it's called right so countdown uh, I played a few games of it, and um, it wasn't working out for me personally. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't really. Uh, it wasn't really an enjoyable time, um, you know, just because um, I didn't have a full team, right? You know what I'm saying? So I feel like definitely with you know Destiny 2 now being only 4v4, I feel like there was more of an emphasis on you know having a team, having you know your three other guys with you in your you know um, team that can coordinate with you, that can do some callouts and everything, and you know do some route planning and overall just have like a better team oriented uh, experience when it comes to terms of more of a competitive game mode like countdown so I didn't want to you know just 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 you know just keep playing with randoms and not having success overall and everything like that so um, hopefully I'll be able to play with some friends this weekend that we'll get some gameplays over we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll see ladies and gentlemen but overall uh, definitely jump on that Destiny 2 open beta I'm enjoying Destiny 2 for what it is and everything and uh, of course I love the first Destiny so I'm gonna obviously love destiny 2 and everything but um you're still hoping that you know there's kind of a breath of fresh air in the full release of the game so if you all enjoyed make sure to leave a like subscribe and share down below i appreciate all of you videos give me thanks for watching and as always i got you